Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kyra Oni and I'm back with another video. So you guys, I told you I was coming with the heat, I was coming with the DIYs, I was coming with the fashion DIYs. And here I am. Here it is, you guys. DIY LV jeans. So the first thing I do is I make my uh, stencils and everything will be linked in the description box below. But I made these jeans, you guys, for like four or five dollars. I already had the paint. I just had to get the jeans. Um, so this I, I'm like super psyched for this DIY because, you know, I feel like I did really good and I was really resourceful um, in creating my own dope outfits for homecoming because who got the money to be spending a hundred plus dollars on some outfits i don't so anyways i make my stencils and um i don't have footage for that unfortunately and i apologize uh, for some reason listen we just not even gonna talk about it but what i did was i used um some what is this like not cardstock but i used one of the poster boards from dollar tree and i literally you guys i printed out the lvs um and I, I just printed out the what you call it what is this called the pattern um from a google image i scaled it in word and then i print it out and i traced that onto the poster board and then cut those out and yeah it was really tedious it took a long time but i'm glad that i did it because my jeans came out great and i love them so yeah after i um, go ahead and finish stenciling them on. You guys see right now, I am using the stencil to create my LVs. I'll, or not just LVs, because other patterns too that goes with it. But yeah, I just use my stencils to... <laughs> Look at me, I'm looking at the camera trying to make sure it's recorded. Um, I use my stencils to put it onto my jeans. So you guys see above the v part of the lv i got a little bit of paint so all you have to do is well at least with this fabric paint all you have to do is take some soap water and go in and just rub it rub it rub it and it will come out that's what you guys see me doing just saw me doing i was going to get my soap water to make sure that everything was good so after i do that obviously the stencil is not going to be perfect um and i kind of like went through both techniques of trying to like paint it with the foam uh what is that thing called like the sponge versus painting it with a brush if you paint it with a brush i think i've i've kind of found that it would bleed in more because obviously there's more paint on the brush and even if there's not a lot of paint you would have to put a lot of pressure which would also cause some like seepage so just want to let you guys know that you guys can, you know, feel free to do whatever method that you like. But that's what worked for me. I was just alternating between between it. But in order to, like, cement my design down, I did use my foam sponge at the beginning. So, literally, so I made a sketch. And, yeah, so let's talk about how these jeans came about. So I made a sketch. And I know like LV stuff, I mean, obviously Louis Vuitton is very popular, but I see recently like people have been making a lot of like inspired Louis V things. And so I saw, I think Alyssa Forever made a video of a greenery wall and she made like an LV greenery wall. And so I was like, yo, that's really dope. And I was trying to figure out uh, outfits to do for homecoming and, um... I think there actually are like jeans that are actually like LV on them, but they're like really small. And I don't, mm -mm, that ain't cute. That ain't cute. And I think also a bow from Cosmoholics Anonymous, I think she did a video on this as well. So you guys check those out. But yeah, so I was like, you know, let me do a little sketch. So I sketched it out and, um, I was like, okay, cool. Now that I kind of see it, because I'm a visual person, I'm like, okay, I definitely want to do this. And so, like I said, I already had the paint, I already had the brushes. So this was really, it was really cheap for me to do. And if you already have the jeans, it'll basically be free. So you guys, I'm so pleased with this DIY. So I zoomed in so you guys can see what's going on. But what I did was 
after I did my little stencil, I took it off and then I went in with my brush and tried to clean it up and make it more opaque. Now, what I will say with this, if you guys want to, or if you guys are going to paint it, because, you know, I guess you can spray paint it if you want, if you want that, like, graffiti look, um, then by all means, I guess it will be faster, it just will be a little bit more messy. But if you guys are hand painting it, once you do the first little sponge, don't touch it. Do not touch it. Let it chill out. Let it seep in. Because what's happening is that the fabric is absorbing the paint. And the more paint you kind of put on it, the more it'll just absorb it and keep absorbing it and keep absorbing it. Um, and the less opaque it will be. So once you do it, you know, just put on your little um stencil and then go ahead as you guys see right now i'm going in with some paint and i'm going over it a second time and as you guys see the l first lv i left just alone i let it just seep in and whatnot and now it looks super opaque which is what we want but yeah you guys let the fabric absorb it and what once the fabric absorbs it it'll create you'll have this canvas now so that when you go in a second time it'll be a lot more opaque than what it would have been if you would have just kept painting on, painting on, painting on, painting. So I finished my left side of my jeans. So now I'm going to the right leg. And like I said, I did do a sketch. So I kind of had an idea of how I wanted to lay it out. But however, this is not exactly how I laid it out in my sketch. Um, so don't think that if you make a sketch or if you like do something else, you have to stick to it like no you do what you need to do after I scaled everything out I realized that I should probably put less um markers or, or less um pieces onto my jeans and I might do it on the back I don't think I will uh homecoming is literally in a couple of days and my birthday is tomorrow so I kind of gotta like focus on that stuff <laughs> but yeah so if I if I do do the um, back of the jeans it'll be at a later date but yeah you guys so this is when I was kind of like okay well does it work with the brush and it did um and especially with the LV I think all the LVs I did with the brush only because it was a lot easier for me to um maneuver around those little flips and flops so here I'm actually talking so this was supposed to be like a voice video like a little vlog but I ended up <laughs> not really doing that because I had too much footage to process and I wanted to get this video up for you guys so yeah that's that's why that footage was a little bit it looked like I was talking because I was um but what I was saying was what I said earlier so I that footage was the footage of one coat for pretty much all of them I think I went in with a second coat for some of them at that time but that's when I figured out or that's when I remembered because that's something that I definitely knew just wasn't thinking um like hey Kyra just just let it chill let it chill let the fabric soak it up sis you know you got assignments to do just go ahead and work on those while this thing's dry I know you want to get it done but just let it let it chill out pace yourself so yeah that's what I was telling you guys and I was showing you guys how um sheer it looked and on camera it didn't really look that bad but in person it definitely did so like I said just let it relax let it chill so this is what the jeans look like after I did my two um, did my two coats, and as you guys see, you know I love my bling, so I had to add a little, little bit, a little, 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 little bit. <laughs> so I went in with some crystals. You guys always know I got the crystals on deck. I love to be dazzled everything, and you know what? I'm proud of myself because, and you guys should be proud of me too because I didn't fully be dazzled. Like honestly. Oh, this would be dope if somebody did this or if I did this, if I did it in like all crystals, like all of the logos are crystals, that would be dope. Oh my gosh, that would be really dope. But yeah, I didn't. Um, that honestly would take too much time anyways. Uh, so this DIY, I mean, and this DIY isn't quick and easy. Um, like if you don't have the stencil. So I think you can definitely buy stencils other places if you guys just want to do that and not make your own. But me making the stencils and then having to cut it out and then having to transfer it onto the poster board and then having to cut it out again, it was just a lot. And trying to make sure that it was actually like 
secure, actually functional, actually accurate, and not, you know, super wonky, which I don't think the jeans look super wonky at all, and I'm super excited, I'm like super pleased with how this came out, I literally just had the idea like, yo, Kyra, you should make some of these jeans and like put a little, you know, Kyra flair on it, which is why you guys see me putting my little jewels on it, my little Kyra Oni splash if you will uh but yeah so I spaced these out and the look that I'm going for is very much like what is this late like 90s mixed with early 2000s if you guys know early 2000s they be dazzled everything and it was very common for you to see like big gaps of bedazzled things if that makes sense so like I didn't rim the LV which I think would look Maybe, I don't know if tacky is the right word, but I, I just, I, I tried it and it didn't look right. So I think this really gives it like a nostalgic vibe. I really want, what is it, the LV pochette bags. If you guys remember those, it's the, the white colorful bags. I really want one to go with this. I feel like that would just, uh, that would just make everything dope. Um, or so much more dope because these are already dope, but I feel like it would make my outfit really dope and have my outfit really come together. But I only uh, bedazzle the LVs, in which I'm showing you guys right now. So this is the final look. I'm sorry I don't have any final pictures of me in them because, listen, like I said, your girl, she's making homecoming outfits. So if you want to see the outfits, follow me on Instagram. Why aren't you following me on Instagram already? Come on now. I am going to post all of my homecoming, all of my DIY outfits for you to, guys to look forward to. All the upcoming videos for these DIYs will be seen on my Instagram. So you guys check it out. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.